Ready to go, ready to go. Which camera do you go? Yeah, here, there. Okay, welcome everybody. Today we're going to talk about the lobs in the sport of paddle. Yeah, I will give you some just little tips. Yeah, what you should do perhaps to play those lobs you want to play against your, your opponents at your paddle club. Listen, at some point the lobs are one of the most important, if it's not the most important shots in the sport of paddle. So, but the main thing is to recognize when to hit that shot. The shot selection for the lob is crucial. In the other side of the court, we have Mr. Sam Jones, who is gonna give us a little hand, yeah, and show us how to play this amazing and beautiful shot. So, have a look, there we go. So, one shot, Sam goes for a lob, beautiful. Look how he's bending his knees, and then from down, he goes up, nice one. From down, up, beautiful. Go again. From down, he goes up. Okay, nice one. If the ball is coming easy, as the, the, one hit, um, the ones I was feeding the balls to Sam, that is a very nice game situation to make a lob. Yeah, if you do a lob when you are under pressure, then you get in troubles. So Sam, let's, let's try to go again. Now the shot is gonna be a little bit harder. Yeah, so that lob is, sorry, not this one, that will be good. In that lob, yeah, the ball is coming a little bit complicated. So that lob will never ever be as good as this lob. That lob will be much better. Think about that the lob is an offensive shot. You would think like, nah, you cannot, you're joking. No, I'm not kidding you. So the lob is, isn't it, Sam? Yeah, it is actually. Yeah, it's an offensive shot. The point is that if you use it when you are under pressure, it will become a very defensive shot. You have to choose the right moment to hit the lob. If you choose it when the ball is coming difficult, then for sure your lob is not going to be good. And if it's good, it's because you're lucky. Okay, so little tips for the preparation of the shot. Have a look how Sam bent his knees, yeah, a little bit, bend the knees, and then lift it up straight after you want to hit, you impact the ball, yeah? Go down, 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 impact up, very good. Down, down again, Samuel. Beautiful shot. Go again, lower, 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 nice one. Yeah, so that's the first tip. The second tip, if you try to hit the ball, when the ball is coming without the back wall, this shot is gonna be a little bit more difficult. So if Sam tries, sorry Sam, let's go again. So if Sam, if Sam tries to hit the lob straight without the back wall, I would suggest you to hit that shot, Sam, straight, straight without a lob, yeah, no a lob, yes, and wait again. Yeah, perfect. And wait for the shot when they're coming off the back wall, because if the ball comes off the back wall, the wall has already done the job for you. Yeah, the, the wall is bringing the ball back to you. So you, with the follow through, you can just hit the ball to the other side. The last tip, when I said to, that Sam was using his knees, use the knees, yeah? Use your knees to make the right lob. Have a listen in this, in this um, with, with the paddle band the sound of the paddle bag when you hit the lob with your feet or without your feet. Have a look. This is one, the sound when you use just your wrist. Look. Can you hear that? Look. Yes? It's like, that's the sound. If you use your knees, yeah, and you use the follow through to hit the lob, the, the sound is gonna be different. You see? Look at one. One, look. The second sound is the nice one. Yeah, when the ball goes with your racket, gets into your paddle bat and then goes away from your paddle bat. I hope you like these tips and I hope to see you very soon in the next video coaching, different level.